Hello ladies and gentlemen, Spirit 204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the German battleship Bismarck. Bismarck was the first of two Bismarck class battleships built for Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. Named after Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, the ship was laid down at the Wilhelm and Voss shipyards in Hamburg in July 1936 and launched in February 1939. Work was completed in August of 1940 where she was commissioned into the German fleet Bismarck and her sister ship Tirpitz were the largest battleships ever built by Germany and two of the largest built by any European power. In the course of the warship's eight-month career under its sole commanding officer, Captain Ernest Lindemann, uh, Bismarck conducted only one offensive operation, lasting eight days in May 1941, codenamed Rothbung. The ship, along with the heavy cruiser Prince Eugen, was to break into the Atlantic Ocean and raid Allied shipping from North America to Great Britain. The two ships were detected several times off Scandinavia, and British naval units were deployed to break their route. At uh, the Battle of Denmark Strait, the battlecruiser HMS Hood initially gains Prince Eugen, probably by mistake, while HMS Prince of Wales engaged Bismarck. In the ensuing battle, Hood was destroyed by the combination of fire of Bismarck and Prince Eugen, and was damaged, uh, which then damaged Prince of Wales, forcing her to retreat. Bismarck suffered sufficient damage from three hits to force uh, an end to the raiding mission. We all know the story of what happened to the Bismarck after that. Uh, the uh, Winston Churchill basically wanted Bismarck sunk in revenge for the hood, and a huge uh, search for the Bismarck ensued. Eventually, uh, basically, the Royal Navy caught up to the Bismarck, and the Bismarck was sunk. Some to say it was scuttled. Who knows? Either way. Um, for some reason, it causes a lot of debate when I say it, scu it was scuttled. Uh, but anyways, the ship sunk and uh, kind of remains a staple uh, history piece of... Everybody knows the story of the Bismarck, and everybody seems to really love the Bismarck. This is an amazing redesign for it. And some of you guys may remember the Bismarck I did a long time ago, and that was one of my first BAFTA builds. So I have greatly improved in terms of detailing and techniques when it comes to these ships. And this new Bismarck here definitely shows all those in full force here. This is equipped with the, uh, I believe, the Baltic Sea, if I remember correctly, um, camouflage. I can't remember the exact name. I want to say that's correct, but I could be wrong. I'm sure one of you guys will correct me. But uh, it's basically, uh, you know, has the camouflage that the Bismarck had when it was sunk and took place in the Battle of the Denmark Strait. So overall, a really nice looking model for it. Obviously, the camouflage really nice. What's nice with the new slabs, stairs, and walls and stuff. We really get to create a cool look with the actual striping going up into the conning tower and into the superstructure like it actually did. Um, and that was one of the old things with the previous Bismarck where it did not have that. So this thing looks awesome with that. Um, to begin with, we have obviously the main gun turrets up here. We have turrets 1 and 2. Um, of course, the infamous, uh, basically the uh, what would be the swastika here on the front of the bow of the ship. We have the conning towers here and all that again, really nice detail all within here, secondary batteries, um, lifeboats, and uh, torpedo launchers, I believe also the Bismarck had. Uh, we do have the seaplane launcher, or catapult that would be located right in this area. Come back here, we have the rear mast, we have the German flag flying high, and uh, of course more secondary batteries and fire control systems, anti-aircraft gun positions, all that fun stuff all the way along here. And then we have turrets uh, 3 and 4 on the back, and that pretty much sums up the Bismarck. An absolute beautiful model, as I said, and I was actually really excited when this won the vote. Uh, I put up for you guys on my community uh, poll uh, to vote on what uh, ship you want to see redesigned for, and oh, and you guys all really wanted to see a new Bismarck, and I'm kind of happy because that's my favorite out of uh, the ones that are on the poll. But anyways, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, moving into our first layer, we go ahead and start with layer 1. One quick thing I want to mention before we go ahead and get started with this tutorial is uh, we're going to be building the first four layers, half on camera, half off. What this means, I'm going to show you guys how to build the center line and the right side or the starboard side of the ship, and then it will be up to you guys to cop the left side over. These uh, first few layers are pretty easy and just involve us building basically the uh, keel and the pull basically up and then once we get to the superstructure and all the detailed intricate pieces I'm going to be going ahead and doing both sides all together in one uh, solid layer. So uh, you know just pay attention to these next four layers and we will get the whole built up and good to go. If you do want to build the ship in the water one thing to take note of is that this layer layer one needs to be one full block underneath the water here. So you can see here this row of three of blue concrete representing the water level 
Uh, you want to make sure that this is a full block under so that the ship sits correctly in the water. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is we're going to be placing down a row of red concrete. Now this row of red concrete is going to be quite a long row in total 42 blocks. Um, and this right here is going to basically form our center line here for the you know, bottom of the ship here. We're going to then place down a brick stair followed by a birch slab right after it. After that's done, we're going to go back up to the front of our ship, and we're going to start working our way out to the side. So that's the center line. Everything we do now on the right side will be translated over to the left side. To get started with here, we're going to go ahead and take our brick stairs. We're going to go ahead and place down a brick stair upside down facing this one, this way, and it's going to be on the fifth uh, red concrete block back. So one, two, three, four, our fifth one here, and then the brick stair on the side. We're going to place down our upside down stair directly behind it, like so. So this turns into a corner stair. And we're going to go ahead and then take our red concrete and we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 red concrete blocks back. We then want to place down a row of two of brick top slabs like that on the end here. I'm going to go ahead and double check my count here of red concrete again, just good to double check and make sure everything is right. And we have 34 red concrete blocks. From that brick stair there to this brick top slab so 34 red concrete blocks there we then want to go ahead and skip two spaces back from that brick top slab and we're going to place down a red concrete block followed by a brick up sound stair coming off like that toward the rear there and it's going to be for our two rudders we then want to go back up to the front we're going to go ahead and go to the fourth red concrete block back and we're going to go ahead and place down a another brick uh stair coming off of it like so, and then a second stair behind it. So the stairs are going to turn on a corner stair, and then we have a brick stair here. And we're going to take a red concrete and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Red concrete blocks back, and I'm going to go ahead and double check our count here again. Because we do not want any mistakes, and we have 25 blocks in total. From this, we're going to then place down a brick upside down stair. Followed by a brick upstone corner stair coming off it, and then a brick top slab, like so. We then want to go off this top slab with two end rods, and then a birchwood slab. Depending on what Minecraft version you are on, some do not allow you to place end rods underwater. If that's the case, then you can go ahead and use fence gates, uh, or something similar to that. Uh, but I've heard some people are able to, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, but if you can, place them like that. If not, use fence gates as a good substitute. Um, anyways, once we get that done, we're going to then go to the sides here. We're going to go to the third red concrete block back. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair next to it. And then behind it, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, brick upside down stairs back. And then a, a brick upside down corner stair here. And so we're going to have basically 20 regular stairs here down the middle. And then a brick corner stair on both ends. So basically going ahead and taking a look at this from up above here. Once you take what we did on the right side here and flip it over to the left side, you should get something that looks like this here for the bottom of the ship. Uh, that right there is going to complete layer one. And uh, again, make sure to take your time, make sure all the uh, dimensions are correct and the um, everything's spaced out properly because uh, one mess up could uh, throw the whole ship out of whack. So just make sure you're paying close attention to that. Anyways, that's it for uh, layer number one. Let's move into layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to begin with, we're going to go to the red concrete block up here in the front. We're going to place our red concrete block right on top of it. We then want to go ahead and go back from this red concrete block, a long row in total of 45 red concrete blocks back. So in total, kind of the one on the front here is going to be a total of 46. So uh, you can see 46 blocks in total here going way back. Should end at this point right here, and we're going to go then place down a brick top slab on the very end. That right there is going to make the center line for layer number two. Moving out to our sides, we're going to go to the fourth red concrete block uh, back from the front, and we're going to place down a brick wall from off the side, followed by one, two, three, four, and five red concrete blocks. We then want to go ahead and uh, also place down one or more additional brick wall here in the front, like so on both sides. After that, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, this red concrete block, so we already have a row 5. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 red concrete blocks back. I'm going to go ahead and double check my count because I might have messed up, messed up there a little bit. And so in total we should have 39 red concrete blocks here. And I think I was, was kind of way off there. Um, but yeah, 39 blocks in total here from this uh, brick wall. And then going all the way back to this point back here. Now at this point back here we're going to take our brick stairs and replace down a brick upside down stair coming off this row. A brick upside down stair coming off it so this turns into a corner stair. Then we have a regular upside down stair and then a brick upside down corner stair here on the end. After that uh, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to the uh, fourth red concrete block back and we're going to place down a brick wall. We're, starting about, uh, we're going to place down a brick wall that comes off of the fifth red concrete block back. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to take our red concrete blocks. We're going to go, ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Again, I'm going to double check my count here to make sure everything is good to go. And we have 31 blocks in total. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a brick upside down stair here on the end right after that row. Now with that done, we're going to go ahead and then go to our outsides here. We're going to take a brick wall. We're going to place it down and come off this fourth red concrete block back. We're going to take our red concrete and we're going to go ahead and run it all the way along these brick stairs. All the side here, all the way back until we get to our last stair. And then we're going to place down a brick wall like that. So in the middle here, we should have a row 22 of red concrete blocks. Like so. And then a brick wall on both ends. Again, take a look at it from above. This is what layer number two should look like from up above once you have both sides transferred over. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer two for the build. And with that, let's move into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take gray concrete. We're going to place down a gray concrete block here on this red concrete block in the front. We're going to go and then go one, two, three, and form our blocks back to give you a row five of gray concrete here in the front. We're going to place down a brick wall coming off the first gray concrete block. After that, we want to go and then place down a brick upside down stair coming off the third gray concrete block like so. And then we're going to place down a row of two stone brick walls. After that, we're going to go and place down another gray concrete block, followed by two smooth quartz full blocks, and then one, two, and three gray concrete blocks back. After that, we're going to go and then take our stone brick walls. We're going to place down a row of three of stone brick walls coming off those three gray concrete blocks. Also, one thing to note is that for this entire build, we're going to be using smooth quartz slabs. So if at any point I just say quartz, just make sure you're using smooth quartz as it looks a lot better compared to the regular quartz blocks. Anyways, with that out of the way, uh, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, and five gray concrete blocks after those three stone brick walls. And then on the last three gray concrete blocks, we're going to place down three stone brick walls. We then want to go ahead and place down a black concrete block coming off this stone brick wall here, and then a smooth quartz full block. We're going to go ahead and then take our gray concrete, and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 gray concrete blocks back, followed by a uh, smooth quartz block and a black concrete block. We're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 gray concrete blocks, a black concrete block, and a smooth quartz slab like so, or a smooth quartz full block. We're going to go ahead and place down a brick wall after this smooth quartz full block. On the inside here, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 gray concrete blocks, followed by a row of 1, 2 stone brick walls, and then a diorite wall. On the inside here, these two stone brick walls, we're going to place down two gray concrete blocks, and 1, 2, and 3 smooth quartz blocks, followed by 1, 2, and 3 stone brick walls. In the middle here, we're going to place down three gray concrete blocks on the inside here of the stone brick walls, and then a stone brick upside down stair here on the very end. And that right there is going to basically complete the outline for this layer. All you need to do is take what we did, transfer it over to the other side, and it should look something like this from up above. If you do want to, you can fill in this layer, though this layer really isn't necessary to fill in. Um, but if you want to, you could just fill it in solid with some gray concrete if you uh, are that type of person. Anyways, that's it for layer number three. Let's move on to layer number four. Alright guys, we moved into our next layer, we moved into layer number 4. Layer 4 here is going to be the last layer we're doing half on, half off, and then from this point on we're going to be going ahead and basically doing um, the entire layers all together. So uh, for this layer to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a gray concrete block on top of this stone brick wall, and then a stone brick upside down stair coming off that uh, block going forward. 
We're also going to go ahead and place down an item frame on the side of this great concrete block, and in the item frame we're going to place down a crossbow, rotate around so it's facing downwards like so for the front anchors. We're going to go, we're going to go ahead and then go back from this great concrete block, a long row of spruce wood planks, going all the way to the back here in total 47 blocks in length, followed by a gray concrete block here on the end on top of that stone brick stair. After that, for our next row, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to place down a stone brick upside stair, followed by one, two, three stone brick walls, a gray concrete block, a smooth quartz block, and then a stone block like that. And then we're going to do a row of spruce wood planks again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35 spruce wood planks back. Again, I'm going to double check our count here. And we have 35 spruce wood planks. We then want to place down a stone block, followed by a smooth quartz full block, and then a gray concrete block. And then one, two, and three stone brick walls on the end there. Our next row here, going up to the front again, we're going to go ahead and go to this first spruce wood plank, and to the side of it, we're going to be going ahead and placing down one, two, and three in the side walls, followed by one, two, and three stone blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one spruce wood planks back. And I'm going to go ahead and again double check our count here, and we have twenty-one spruce wood planks. Followed by one, two, three, four, and five stone blocks, and then one, two, three, and four in the set walls. Lastly, going out to uh, the outsides here, we're going to go to the, to the two spruce wood planks here to place down two uh, in the set walls coming off of those, followed by a black concrete block and a smooth quartz block, like so. We then want to place down one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten stone blocks, and I'm going to go and double check my count here because got a little messed up there. It should be 11 stone blocks, so 11 stone blocks back from that quartz block. And then we're going to place down a quartz block, black concrete block, stone block, black concrete, smooth quartz, and then two inside walls like that to go and finish it off. And once you have that done, that is going to complete layer number four, and with that we pretty much have the whole of the Bismarck complete. And we're going to now start moving into the superstructure. So with that, uh, that's it for layer number four. And let's move on to layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. Um, so for these layers, we're going to be going ahead and basically building everything for this layer on camera. This right here is probably going to be our longest layer because we do have the most stuff um, in this layer. A lot of details and stuff we're going to start getting set up. So to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go, and go to the front of the ship. We're going to place down a stone brick stair. And after that, we're going to place down a stone brick slab. We then want to place down a white carpet, or sorry, my bad. Uh, we're going to place down a row of three brick slabs, followed by a white carpet in the center, red carpet to both sides, and then a row of three red carpet, like so. We then want to place down a red stone repeater on the spruce wood plank with the notches like as far apart as possible, and then a red stone comparator after it, followed by a skeleton skull on top of these two stone brick walls like that. We're then going to go ahead and take our spruce wood pressure plates, and we're going to place down one, two, and three pressure plates back from the skeleton schools, one, two, and three. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some, uh, some of our gray concrete again. We have our stone brick stairs, we need skeleton schools, and we're also going to need some dark oak wood fence gates. To go ahead and get it into turret one, we're going to start off by placing down two fence gates on these two spruce wood planks, so one and two. And we're going to go ahead and open the fence gates toward the rear of the ship. We then want to place down a stone brick stair after them, followed by a skeleton skull on both sides of that stair, a gray concrete block, a stone brick stair to both sides of that gray concrete block, and then a stone brick upside down stair after it, followed by again a uh, uh, some skeleton skull on both sides of that uh, turret for that stair. We then want to go ahead and take our stone blocks and we're going to place down a row of one and two. Of stone blocks into the sides of those stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down two in the side walls again to both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down another stone block there in the middle and we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone stair to both sides of that full block. After that we're going to go ahead and place down a near stone full block here, a stone stair to both sides, and then another row of three of stone blocks just like that after it. We're going to go ahead and then place down an additional row of three of stone blocks and uh, Actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be a 
row of three of black concrete. So row three of black concrete, and then we're gonna go and do a row of three of smooth quartz blocks like that. And we're gonna go ahead and stop for right there. Over on the sides here, we do have some details to add on. So to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and grab our spruce pressure plates. We're gonna go ahead and go to the third die right wall here. We're gonna place, or, sorry, inside side wall. And we're gonna place down one, two, and three spruce pressure plates, and then one, two, and three. On this stone block here, we're gonna place down a lever and have a flicked out to the side so like that for an AA gun position. We then have a secondary turret that's located right here and for this very simply we're going to place down a stone brick stair on this uh, spruce wood plank to both sides here and a dark oak wood fence gate opened up toward the uh, stone brick stair and a dark oak wood sign on the side of the stair like so. After that's done we're going to go ahead and then place down a another brick upside down stair on the back of these stairs like so, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a direct wall right here after the stairs. Then to the sides here, on top of these uh, two blocks, we're going to place down two quartz slabs, and same thing over here as well. Now we're coming back to this section, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the middle here, we're going to take our stone blocks, and we're going to place down a row of three of stone, a second row, and a third row. So three rows of three of stone, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of andesite walls going back like so and we also want to go ahead and go to or sorry my bad we're gonna go ahead and skip a space and then the last two rows here are gonna have andesite walls so it should look something like that after that uh, we're gonna go ahead and build a, another one of our turrets so for this we're gonna place down a stone brick stair next to this andesite wall on both sides here dark oak fence gate opened up toward the stair and a stone brick upside down stair on the back of that stair on both sides, and a skeleton spool coming off of the side here of this stone brick upside down stair. And also, like we did on the front one, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a dark oak wood sign on the sides here of this front stone brick stair. After that's done, uh, for our next row here, we're going to take our stone, we're going to place down a row of five of stone all the way across, followed by a row of three, and then on both sides of this row of three, we're going to place down a andesite wall. And then on the sides here, we're going to place down two spruce with pressure plates like so. Our next section here, we're going to place down a row of three of stone blocks, followed by a second row of three, like so. And then at this point here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, stone brick block, and we're going to place down a stone brick block here after the spruce with pressure plates to both sides. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton spool coming off that uh, stone brick block facing toward the rear there. On the sides of the stone brick block we're also going to go ahead and place down a uh, dark oak wood sign like so. Um, after that's done there also on the inside here there's going to be a dark oak wood sign like that. Now after that's done we're going to go ahead and then place down a, another row of three of stone blocks followed by a iron trap door coming off of both sides here and then a stone brick upside down stair so just like that to both sides and then after that uh, we're going to take spruce wood planks we're going to do a row of three of spruce wood planks here in the middle and then a stone block to both sides like so um, after that right there we're going to go ahead and do a additional row so a stone block on both sides row of three of spruce wood planks there in the middle and then on the sides we're going to go and do a row of two of quartz slabs row two like that. After that's done we're going to go ahead and then place down a quartz upside down stair and a on the sides here and an air brick stair coming off of it. Same thing over here as well like so. Come off the front of the air brick stair and place down a dark oak fence gate opened up toward it. Dark oak wood sign on the side of the air brick stair and same thing over here and a skeleton spool again on the side of this uh, quartz stair like that on both sides and then in the middle space here we're going to take our quartz blocks we're going to place down a row of three the smooth quartz blocks across the middle there and then a direct wall to both ends our next row here we're going to place down a row of three of black concrete and a narrow brick wall to both sides of that row of three we're going to go and then take our stone we're going to do a row of five of stone across Followed by a second row of five, and on your second row of five on both sides here for the deck, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone or a spruce wood pressure plate. 
We then want to go ahead and do a row of five of black concrete across, followed by a row of three in the middle here of quartz, full blocks, and then a direct wall to both sides of those quartz full blocks. We're also going to go ahead and then place down two stone pressure plates on top of those two blocks here. Same thing went down the side there for the deck. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of stone blocks across the middle here like so, and a side wall to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of stone blocks again across the middle here. Actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be a spruce wood plank here in the middle and then a uh, stone block to both sides. After that right there, we're going to then place down a row of two stone blocks coming off that and for that spruce wood plank and then two inside walls to both sides here. And again, taking our spruce wood pressure plates, we're going to place down one, two, and three and one, two, and three on both sides there. After that, we're going to then place down a lever on the stone block on both sides with the lever face down to the sides there. We're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, stone brick up sail stair right there. And then a gray concrete block about that stone brick up sail stair. Uh, stairs coming off the remaining three sides of this gray concrete block. And we're going to go take skeleton stools and fill in the corners. So right here, right here, here, and there. Like that. And then we want to go ahead and place down a row of two dark oak and fence gates coming off that stair. Have the fence gates opened up toward the stair itself. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, pressure plate, or a, yeah, a uh, pressure plate here on top of those two stone blocks, and also one and two pressure plates after those two levers, like so. We want to go ahead and then take our resistor repeater and place our resistor repeater here in the middle on that spruce wood plate like that. We're going to take our red carpet, do a row of three red carpet, a white carpet in the middle here, red carpet on both sides, and then a row of three red carpet. And then lastly on the back here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a redstone comparator on that spruce wood plank. And then a end rod on top of that great concrete block. And then another end rod that comes up from it at an angle like so going back. And also in the front here, just so we don't forget it later on, we can just place down a end rod on top of the stone brick stair. Um, anyways, that's right there is it for layer 5. Again, that's probably going to be our longest layer for the build as there is so much going on and so much laying out. But uh, as you can see from up above, this is what it should look like. And... Uh, you can really kind of start to see a good look at what the Bismarck's going to look like. Anyways, that's it for layer 5. Let's move into layer number 6. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 6. For layer 6, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair on top of this stone block here. And then we're going to place down a gray concrete block back from it. Stone brick up sound stair off the gray concrete block. Stone brick stair to both sides of this gray concrete block. And also skeleton heads here come off the sides here of these stairs like so. And then a dark group defense gate coming off the front of the stair, and an additional one coming off of it like so. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a iron trap door coming off both sides of the stone block, and a dark group with sign on the side of this iron trap door, again on both sides there. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a andesite wall to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of stone blocks across, followed by a row of three of black concrete across. So just like that. And then we want to go ahead and then do a row of, uh, or sorry, a quartz block here in the middle and then a diet wall to both sides like that. Now to wrap this diet wall, we're going to be going ahead and grabbing a stone slab. So we're going to have to grab one from our credit menu here. We're going to place down a stone slab coming off that direct wall. Dark oak would sign on the, um, or sorry about that, it's actually going to be a stone brick slab. So a stone brick slab coming off that direct wall. A dark oak would sign on the side of it like this, and also on the back side. And then we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate coming off that slab facing toward the front. And we're going to go do the same thing over here. So stone brick slab, fence gate two dark oak with signs like that. Now after that, uh, we're going to want to go and then place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a quartz slab to both sides, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a another uh, stone block here in the middle, and this time we're going to follow it up by placing down a quartz stair to both sides. After that, we're going to place down a stone block in the middle here, followed by again a quartz stair to both sides like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, uh, stone brick slab on top of this stone block. 
followed by Darko Kofinski coming off of it facing forward and opened up toward the slab, and then Darko could signs on basically the side of it. Same thing over here as well, just like that. And Darko could sign. After that, uh, we're going to then place down a stone block or a stone stair on that inside wall to both sides, and then coming off of it, we want to go and then place down a skeleton skull coming off the side of the stair. And we're going to then place down a fence gate on top of this stone brick block here, have it opened up toward the front, and same thing over here, fence gate opened up toward the front. And then coming off the uh, front of the uh, fence gate there, we're going to go and place down a dark group sign like that. Uh, in the middle space here, we want to go and then place down a row of one and two more stone blocks back, followed by a stone stair. To the sides here, we're just going to place down one and two and three gray carpet, and then one, two, and three gray carpet on the sides. At this point here, we're going to, go and take our iron trap doors, we're going to place down a row of seven all the way across here. And then once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of andesite walls on this uh, second row of three of spruce wood. And then to both sides here, we're going to place down a smooth quartz slab, like so, with dark oak wood signs wrapped around the quartz slab, like that. Uh, once that's done, we want to go ahead and then take our black concrete, and we're going to place down a row of three behind those andesite walls. And then also coming off this uh, quartz slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate and have it open up toward the slab itself. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone block here in the middle. A andesite wall to both sides, and then we want to go ahead and place down a spruce wood plank here in the middle. Andesite wall again to both sides here, and after that, we're going to then place down a stone brick slab on this stone block to both sides. A dark oak fence gate came off the slab facing toward the back and opened up toward the slab itself, and then dark oak wood signs wrapped around the remaining two sides here of. The stone brick slab. When we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a andesite wall to both sides, a row of three of black concrete, a row of three of smooth quartz blocks, and then a andesite wall here in the middle. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a lever. We're going to place down a lever on the stone block here to both sides, facing outwards from the andesite wall. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick upside down stair. Coming off the same side wall like so, a gray concrete block, a stone brick stair, stone brick stair to both sides of this gray concrete block, and then skeleton skulls come off the sides here of these stairs like so, and a dark oak wood fence gate come off the stair like that facing forward. And uh, once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for this layer. Uh, pretty straightforward layer, nothing too complicated. Uh, actually, one thing to add on also is that we're going to place down two spruce wood pressure plates in this area right here. So one, two. And that right there is going to complete this layer. Again, you can start to see some of this trooper structure game built up and all that stuff. And um, that's it for layer six. Let's move on to layer seven. All right, let's move on to our next layer. We'll be moving on to layer number seven. For layer seven, to go ahead and get started with here. We're going to place down a iron trap door on top of this stone brick upside down stair. And then an iron tra trap door coming off both sides of it to create a row of three there. We then want to place down a stone stair on top of this stone block here, followed by an iron trap door to both sides of that stone stair, and then wrapped around the iron trap doors on these two sides, we're going to place down two dark oak wood signs, same thing over here on this side, and also a dark oak wood sign come off the face of that stone stair. From this, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block here, followed by an andesite wall to both sides, and we want to go ahead and then place down a black concrete block in the middle again, followed by another brick up down stair again to both sides, a dark oak wood sign come off the face of the stair, and uh, that's what we're going to do right there for right now. Also, uh, we're going to place down an iron trap door coming off this stone block from the previous layer, which I forgot to add. And on top of it, we are going to be placing down a light gray carpet. So just go ahead and make that simple addition. Uh, when we get to this section here, we're going to take our quartz blocks. We're going to place down a quartz, a smooth quartz block there in the center, and then a stone block directly behind it. We then want to place down an iron trap door in this section followed by a iron bar to both sides and we want to go ahead and then place down a stone stair uh, on top of this stone brick slab here so right here to both sides and skeleton spools on both sides of 
these stone stairs. After that, in the middle space here, we're going to place down a stone stair, like so, and then we're going to place down one and two stone blocks back from it. We want to go ahead and then place down our iron bar, like this, followed by one out to both sides, and then one going forward, like so, on the sides of that stone block. After that, going ahead and going back to this section here, we're going to place down a inside wall here, followed by a quartz top slab, or a smooth quartz top slab on both sides there. And we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, smooth quartz block directly behind the inside wall and a stone, or sorry, a quartz stair to both sides of that um, block there. And then a dark oak design on the face here of this quartz stair. After that, we're going to place down a narrow stone block here in the middle, followed by a quartz slab to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a redstone comparator. On top of that spruce wood plank there in the middle, a iron trap door, after the redstone comparator, and then a narrow brick slab on top of these two inner side walls, like so, with uh, dark oak signs wrapped around the narrow brick slabs, like this, and same thing over here. After that, uh, we're going to then place down a smooth quartz block in the middle here, followed by a stone block directly after it. We then want to take our levers and we're going to place down two levers here to the sides there just like that. And then on top of this uh, inside wall here, we're going to place down a iron trap door with a dark oak wood sign on both sides of the iron trap door. And then also we're going to place down a row of three of iron trap doors across the back here of turret number three. And that right there is going to complete this layer. As you can see, we have uh, basically a lot more of a game built up here. and. Uh, pretty much getting close to nearing the end for this tutorial. Anyways, that's it for layer number 7. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 8. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to our conning tower here. We're going to place down a stone block on top of this one right here. Coming off both sides of it, we're going to place down an end rod. And then coming off the face of it, we're going to place down a row of 3 of iron bars. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a lever on the top here of these nerve brick up downstairs and have them facing out to both sides like that and in the middle space there we can go ahead and place down a spruce wood plank or spruce wood uh, pressure plate on top of this uh, quartz block here we're place down a black concrete block and then a smooth quartz block directly behind it we then want to place down a stone stair on top of these two iron bars just like that and we're also going to go ahead and place down a lever coming off these two, or this uh, quartz block on both sides here, and we're also going to go ahead and place down a um, end rod that's going to be going ahead and coming off of this diet wall like so. And we also want to go ahead and place down an end rod right here on top of this diet wall, so from the previous layer that should be on both sides there like that. Um, anyways, after that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone block on top of this right here. And then we're going to place down a quartz block directly after it. Uh, coming off the stone block, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair to both sides, and also an iron trap door coming off of it going toward the front. So, like that, going toward the front client tower. And then we want to go ahead and place down a uh, will be a quartz slab on both sides of this full block and a dark oak sign to off the side here of the slab. On the back here we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab on top of this iron bar right here. A dark oak sign to off the stair or the slab like that and the skeletons will want a nice 45 degree angle here on top of these iron bars like so. After that moving uh, back here we're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair which is going to go on top of this smooth quartz block right here and then a and side wall directly behind it. On both sides of the stone stair we're going to place down a skeleton spool and we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door come off the sides here of this um, inside wall. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame and in that item frame we're going to have a snowball. So we're going to place down an item frame inside here and a snowball in the item frame like that. 
After that's all done, go ahead and continue it on. We're going to place down a um, smooth quartz block on top of this one right here. And then a end rod to both sides. And like we did for the front here, we're going to take our iron bars and place down a row of three of iron bars going across there like so. And that right there is going to complete what we have for layer number eight for the build. With that, we're going to move into our final layers here, which are consist of layers seven, eight, or sorry, my bad. Uh, layers 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers. Layers 9 through 16. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our next layer. We'll be moving into layer, uh, or final layers, layers 9 through 16. So go ahead and get started here. We're going to go ahead and go to the top here of this stone block. And we're going to place down a redstone comparator on top of it just like that. After that, we're going to go to this black concrete block here. We're going to place down a narrow brick stair coming off of it. Dark oak could sign coming off the face of the stair. And we want to go ahead and then place down a item frame. Coming off the stair here. And then a black bed like that in the item frame. Rotate around so the pillow is facing downwards like so. We then want to place down a narrow brick slab to both sides of the stair. And then coming off the sides of the slabs facing toward the front. We're going to place down dark oak with signs. And then out to the sides here. We're going to grab a wither skeleton skull. And we're going to place down a wither skeleton school like this out to the sides. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, smooth quartz block here in the middle, followed by a quartz stair to both sides. A spruce wood sign coming off the face here of the stair. Same thing over here. Another quartz stair here in the middle, followed by a skeleton school on both sides of the stair. We then want to place down a, or we're going to go ahead and continue working on the client tower. We're just going to knock it out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up from this. We're going to place down a black concrete block on top of this quartz block here. And we want to go ahead and place down a stone block. Going forward from it. On both sides of the stone block, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone top slab. And on top of those top slabs, we're going to go ahead and place down levers and have them flicked out to the sides there, like so. Coming off the front here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab, followed by dark oak and cyan trapped around the top slab, like so. And then on top of the top slab, we're going to go ahead and have a iron trap door. An iron frame coming off of it. Dark oak with signs here to both sides of the iron trap door. And we're going to then place down a snowball in the iron frame like that. After that, we're going to then place down a stone brick stair. Or just a, sorry, a regular stair back from the iron trap door. Black concrete block on top of this one. And we're going to then place down a quartz stair coming off this towards corner stair to both sides here and then a narrow brick wall go with that black concrete block like that after that we're going to place down a one more additional black concrete block up like so a end rod to both sides a redstone comparator on top like so and a row of three of iron bars just like that and the right there is going to complete the front conning tower for this mast here we're going to take dark oak with fence posts and we're going to go up from this uh, iron trap door here one, two, three fence posts, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three end rods up. One and two come off the second one, one and two out to the sides, and then one come off both sides here of this um, end rod there on the very top. After that, we want to go and then place down a black concrete block here on top of this quartz block, quartz block right here in front of it, and then a narrow brick slab up from the quartz block like that. We're also going to place down an iron trap door on these two slabs and then to the sides here we're going to place down a item frame and in that item frame we want to go ahead and have a snowball. So item frame and snowball. And uh, once we have that done uh, we're going to now move to our rear mass. So for this we're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of this stair. Going ahead and going up from it we're going to place down a narrow brick fence post and a stone block on top of it. We then want to place down two more narrow brick fence posts and then one, two, and three. End rods up, iron bar on top, and then a end rod coming off both sides of this end rod up here, and then an end rod coming off both sides of this end rod like that. And then come off these end rods, we're going to place down an end rod going back on both sides. We're going to place down a block here in the middle. And we want to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull off both sides of that block and in the middle in between the skeleton schools we're going to place down an end rod and then one more that comes back like so. 
we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars, some red wool, some brick slabs, and a dark oak button. We're going to place down a iron bar coming off this um, stone block, followed by one more, and then a third one like that. Coming off this uh, iron bar here, we're going to place down a red wool block. We're going to go ahead and go down into the left side here with a slab, and then a top slab below it, and a dark oak button on both sides of this uh, red wool block like that. And once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and then go to this section here, and on top of this quartz block, we're going to place down an end rod, and then three iron bars across the top. We're then going to place down an iron trap door on top of this and the side wall, and we're going to go ahead and then take dark oak signs and wrap it around this iron trap door. So just like this, and also on the sides here of these iron trapdoors also we're going to place down dark oak with signs. And after that we're going to go ahead and now do the rigging. So for the rigging here, if you do have access to barrier blocks, I definitely recommend using these as these are pretty much the best for what we're trying to do here. Uh, but basically all we're doing is we're going to go ahead and take our barrier blocks, we're going to go ahead and go to the middle end rod right here, we're going to go ahead and go one, two, and three, barrier blocks back, and we're going to go ahead and then place down stone buttons here on both sides like that. We want to go ahead and then go up and out with a uh, barrier block like this and same thing over here. So it looks something like this. Let's wait for those to disappear. Looks something like that. And then we're going to place down one and two barrier blocks back, one and two, and then the sides here, three stone buttons and three stone buttons. For our next cables here, uh, we're going to go ahead and go off of the end rod up here, we're going to place down one and two barrier blocks down the middle here, two stone buttons on both sides. We then want to go ahead and go up from the barrier blocks and back one, so up at an angle. One more back and, or sorry, my bad, my bad not one more back, just we're going to keep at the one right here, stone buttons on both sides. And then going from the stone buttons, we're going to go ahead and go out at an angle here with a barrier block, stone buttons again on both sides here. And we're going to go and then go off of this end rod here, place down two barrier blocks, two stone buttons, two barrier blocks, and two stone buttons. And basically with that complete, um, you'll get something that looks just like this here for your rigging. And with that, that will complete layers uh, 9 through 16. And with that, that will complete my tutorial here for the KMS Bismarck German Battleship BAFTA build. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys do use this build, I do ask you guys to give me a proper credit for it. This will be the sound of the build to enjoy my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me a proper credit for it, your free user favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.